you know, a lot of people, and this is where I really want to get the message out about appraisals, is that, um, you know, buyers need to get an appraisal if they're getting a loan through the home buying process and stuff like yeah. that. Um, but I think listing agents, us fellow listing agents, need to know how important it is to get an appraisal on a property. Because mm -hmm. again, going back to that um, story of, you know, people will pull comps and stuff like that. Well, I had a, a great example of about a year ago, and it was uh, the homes over in North Marietta. And this lady was, you know, shopping listing agents. And so I got called up to bat kind of thing. And she said these two or three other agents had uh, given her a, a value of her home of about 540 to 555 kind of thing. And I said, well, you know what? Uh, I think the value on this house, because it was so unique and just so beautiful, I said, let's get a pre-listing appraisal. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, Connie. And so... Um, and so I offered to take care of the appraisal, a pre-listing appraisal. She had that pinball machine. Yeah. In the, oh God, Which brought so no value, but yeah. still. But you got excited about it. <laughs> um, but back to the story is, you know, these other agents tell them, you know, 540 to 555 kind of thing. And the appraisal, pre-listing appraisal came in at 595. Hmm. So, of course, she signed with me and then she made an extra $50,000. So that is the value of getting a pre-listing appraisal on your home before you market it. So uh, definitely worth every penny. Yeah, that was a specific Montserrat house. That's right. In the Corte Bella Montserrat community. And... Some things, it has very low special assessments um, that does contribute to value. The quality on those houses was ter is terrific. Yeah. They're really desirable. They were one of the nicest tract homes that was built when at the time that it was built. That's right. It was, um, yeah.